hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so if you have not purchased my new deck that i released on black friday queen nella's hidden secrets oracle deck make sure you go to the description box down below and you copy i rate i spent a lot of time on it um i love how it came out i'm obsessed with the freaking deck for those of you that have got it um that have purchased it Thank you so freaking much. Y'all had me almost cry, bitch. I was so lit. I was so freaking lit on Black Friday. I was full. I was like just a little bit of energy. You know what I'm saying? When you just be getting up in your energy, be eating your food. The yams was touching the macaroni and cheese and stuff. Like I was saying, um, I'm freaking obsessed with this deck. I love it. Um, not only the artwork, but just what it is. Um, it's very beginner friendly. And I feel like a lot of people will get a lot of good uses out of it. And so, once again, go to the link in the description box if you do want to purchase it. Hello, Leo, and welcome back to my channel. So, before we get into your reading... Oh, what the hell is going on? Look, you couldn't even see that card. Okay, Leo, before we get into your reading, all of these messages are general. Not every message is going to pertain to you on a personal level. So if you would like a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box down below, along with the extended, along with the link to the extended for this reading. Okay, Leo, first of all, look, and you still can't fucking see it. Okay, so let's get into this all over energy. Leo, I don't know what this energy around you is, but when I was tapping into your energy, I was seeing like, um, what are those things called? It's like little stars. I was seeing little stars. Like, you know when you sneeze too hard and you start to see, like, those little stars? Or, like, when you just... What is it? Like, when you just stare and you just really focus on something and then you see those little floaty things. But I was actually seeing stars. So, some of you definitely are going to get some public recognition. Um, yeah, I just feel like somebody's checking your page a lot. I feel like there's a lot of people... I also did get a download. Somebody is stalking on you. <laughs> stalking on you. Somebody is stalking and plotting on you. I feel like this is somebody from the past. Um, for my singles, this is definitely like an ex-lover or what is this? Like an ex-rendezvous. Because I did see 6-9. Um, like I saw a 69. And I was like, oh, why am I seeing these numbers? I'm like, okay, maybe this is positive because they're both... <laughs> they're both like you know pregnant numbers but then I got like all of this heat and like pent up energy and I was like oh, okay so this is sexual energy so somebody wants to do 69 with you but there's somebody from the past that's gonna like either I feel like they're gonna make an approach somebody could have a Leo moon or a Leo, uh, or a Leo rising um somebody's gonna make an approach to like bring up this tower moment that you guys had I feel like this is a breakup um I feel like you do still love this person because the Ace of Cups is behind this, but I feel like this is them. Yeah, I feel you could be dealing with another Leo. Um, it's like this person is kind of scared to do it, but they have so much pent up energy about the situation and about you that they have to tell you. And I do feel like you're going to be torn. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what's going to be highlighted for you. Then we're going to get into your person's messages and then we're going to get into your tarot reading. So, let's get into this. No, wait. Hold on. If somebody also wants to, like, close the space or the gap with you, I really feel like that's sexual, I'm going to be honest. But, like, I don't know. I don't know what y'all be got going on. I mean, so let's see. What is going to be highlighted for my Leos? Look. Cut the freaking deck. Look. The deck. Like, what's behind there? Heartbreaker. Head and feelings. Ooh, and daughter. Somebody might want to give you a daughter. Yeah, somebody wants to give somebody a daughter. <laughs> or a son. But for those that, that this person wants to give you a daughter, I feel like you either already have a son. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, okay. Well, you definitely are not with it. You're definitely not with it. Okay, let's get two more. Leo, I feel like you're being very stuck up. Okay, even though this is an ex, and maybe they did do something, I kind of feel like... 
I don't feel this way. You are this way, Leo. It's like, nah, I'm too good for this bitch or I'm too good for this dude. Okay, Leo. <laughs> Y'all tripping. Yeah, revenge. Oh my gosh. Revenge. If some of you want revenge on this person, Leo, what the hell? Okay, if you've moved on, I get it, but this person, look, and fate different. Okay, all of the energy is abused. This is gonna sound really crazy, but I feel like your fate is your revenge. Like, you being unbothered <laughs> about the situation, um, and really going with the flow, and, like, not being, like, pressed. Like, Leo, I feel like you're not pressed. Whoever this is, they're viewing you this way. They're viewing you as, like not being pressed um if my voice sounds differently i'm like losing my voice i don't know what's going on i definitely feel like while you're watching this you and this person are not in communication but it's like your fate is is what saved you from this person yeah i don't know why i'm getting like saved you from this person so this person could have been abusive oh for some of you you're unbothered because you're in another relationship or like you're just moving on with your life and like now that this person wants you back in their life it's like they kind of they're gonna regret what they did to you okay leo so let's get into your person's messages look again and this was your all over energy that's so crazy look and revenge came out again some of you are definitely getting some public recognition. For those of you that are like single and really focused on your career, even if you are talking to someone, look, Leo, are we going to deal with the Pisces? Ooh. I'm sorry, I am so freaking nosy. Um... <laughs> Um, anyway, um, yeah, I, see, I feel like, uh, I see that some of you are coming into some public recognition or a level up, a level up in your career or making more money. Again, I feel like y'all gonna be making revenge money. I don't know what this is about. You have like, um, Leo in your fifth house. Lost without you, I miss you, fear. Um, or your seventh, which would make you an Aquarius rising. Unrequited. This is an X. Wait, wasn't there another one that flipped over? I'm not sure if we both feel the same way about each other. Yeah, if this person's not talking to you, they're scared. They don't know. <sighs> yeah, look, they feel like you found love in another. They don't know. That's why it's not showing up. Look at this. They don't they don't know what the hell is going on. Um, for some of them, look you be done with the Libra or they can have a Libra placement. Um, for some of them they're confused, they don't know what to do. Um, this person is very much in love with you, but they feel like you don't feel the same way. coming back home to you look again with this freaking revenge you know what this is making me want to clarify let me let's clarify this real quick because it keeps on coming up look leo we're gonna clarify this real quick even though leos do not show me fucking love on youtube i don't know but whatever let's see what is this revenge What is this revenge? Oh, <gasps> yeah, you being unbothered. Some of you are going to like literally get married or be in a in a happy commitment, but I feel like this is just like you being happy about you. Some of you are going to be celebrating like a milestone in your career. You could be a cross watcher watching for a Leo. I just felt that reconciliation and obsession main woman this is some weird ass shit because this is what this person wants but they also want revenge for some of them this is the revenge like getting you back like literally getting you back 
so wait what is this revenge i'm i'm confused as fuck like i don't get this person love story a love story never ends oh okay wanting to wanting to start a new chapter look i'm required again so that's what this person wants this person wants you so whoever you're with they want revenge over that person they kind of feel like because you're so like because you're leo it's like anybody that's with you is like right now is getting revenge on them so they want to get the revenge back on them that person by getting you what the hell this is definitely a third party and i feel like i'm gonna be honest for some of you this is a feminine energy that's like juggling but i don't feel like you're juggling i, I just feel like there's another guy that wants you back or if you're a male this woman wants you back yeah you could be dealing with an aquarius yeah somebody wants to heal this situation with you <laughs> bitch and they don't give a fuck if you're not with it. Listen to me. This person is stalking and plotting on you, alright? Page of Swords as well. Um, holiday excuse to talk to you. So this person might hit you up. <laughs> Look, I'm here for the kids. So you can have a kid with this person, but not necessarily. Um, I'm just getting like this person wants to wants to have excuses to talk to you. Like that's just period. Um you could be dealing with the earth sign. This is funny to me. You could be dealing with the earth sign. I'm willing to chase you to the end of the earth. And rejection. Yeah, somebody feels like they're going to get rejected or they got rejected. Bitch. Yeah, I wish I could control you and jealous. Bitch. Oh my gosh. Any more messages for Leo's person? You know what, matter of fact, I'm hot. Like, I'm getting very fucking hot. I feel like this person... You know what, let me turn on some freaking air. Because I know you're lying. Okay, that has never happened to me. Um, oh my gosh. And I still am, like, kind of hot. Um, somebody is very sexually attracted to you. You know what, I feel like somebody is stalking you heavy as well. Leo, this person... It's like, what is this? I don't know if they were annoying to you when you guys were together, but it's just like, this person could have like just really blew your high a lot. Like I'm feeling like somebody that's super sober that just kills the mood. Like, um, like just killing the vibe a lot. Like, I don't know. You know what? That's, that's why this car came out. Hold on. Let me go get it. Like, bitch. This is why this card came out. <laughs> I feel like somebody is like a super sober stalker. Like they really need a blunt. Like somebody needs to chill the hell out. I feel like somebody's watching you too hardly. And sometimes when they don't get what they're looking for, they get even more obsessive. You know, I've been getting this a lot. If you haven't been posting on social media, it's like this person gets even more like what the hell are they doing like why aren't they on social media they usually are on social media or like if you're doing something that you never did before it's like why are you doing this like you've never been this firm with me or i don't know it's just this person this person likes to blow people's high like i don't know they're just they're just very okay that's too many okay messages from leo's person any more messages okay you're perfect to me petty as fuck <laughs> yeah i don't like this person um gold digger freedom in reverse i know you fucking lying i want to put all of these cards back because it's just like what are you telling me like what are you telling me like i can't so somebody could have been a gold digger oh bitch i'm tripping somebody could be very non-committal or you okay if you're in another relationship and it's very serious this person doesn't want you to be in that relationship especially if like marriage if there's talks of marriage this person is like going fucking crazy all right um for some of you that are single it's like <sighs> you may go back to a past person because nobody is like you know tickling your fancy right now but it's kind of like this person not only wants to like tie you down but they feel like you're very like you're too independent like you have too much independence like you could do too much for yourself 
um, yeah, like you're too independent or you're too mature for them and they want to stay like at a certain level. This is ghetto. This is, this, <laughs> this is ghetto ass shit. Um, but yeah, this person wants commitment and I feel like you've let this go. Fear. I want this so badly, but I'm afraid of getting hurt. So I just self-sabotage. Time in reverse. Yeah, this person feels like they they took too much time to like dissipate this energy with you. This money, this money, what? Oh, shit. This person might try to like buy you with money or... Or they feel like they feel like they don't they, they can't get you because they don't make enough money, so they might be really career focused. This person's going fucking crazy. Look at this. Okay, Leo, let's get into your your tarot reading because <sighs> this is got up. Okay, what's coming towards my Leos? You might be dealing with the Taurus or Aries. Let's see. What's coming towards my Leo's? <laughs> I just heard some bullshit. So somebody that you might think is like just some bullshit might be coming towards you. Oh wait, hold on. Let me... Okay, I just heard holding back. So somebody could be holding back from you. Or that this is what they've been doing. What's coming towards my Leo's? I just heard somebody's on the run. The hell, Leo, what are y'all doing? On the run from what? The magician? Oh, okay, Leo, I like this. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you, well, some of you, they're telling me some. What is going on with my light hand? I know you lying. Some of y'all got some haters, all right? That's just period. Um, but anyway, I feel like some of you are, are manifesting multiple different things in your life. I don't really feel like you're focused on this person. Like, that's why I was hearing on the run. I feel like you don't even give this person attention, like, in your subconscious. Like, I feel like it's that deep. Like, you're not even worried about this person. I feel like you're manifesting um, career. I'm getting babies here with this fish. I'm also getting money and again that recognition I don't know what that's about <laughs> okay what's coming through the Leo's but yeah I feel like you guys are manifesting multiple different things at once and that's how you're supposed to do it Ooh, shit. queen of pentacles see look yeah y'all are manifesting money and career and again, with this like pentacle on her on her head, and it's like shining like that, I feel like this has to do with like public recognition or like public reward or something about like your income being public or something that you do. What is this? This got to do with social media, because I'm getting, like, public recognition, literally. Hang me in for a wand. Damn. Some of you guys could have been working at this for, like, a long time, whatever this is. Whatever this career endeavor is. Yeah, like, seven of cups. You guys have mad options. I just heard sponsorships. I don't know what the hell this is. You could be, like, um, what is this? Um... Oh, I know that freak that freaking term. I forgot what it's called. But like people really do it. Um, like you know when people like um uh they like sell advertisement online or like they get money from other people giving them money and then like it feeds on each other. Um, I don't know what it's called, I forgot what it, what it's called, but I feel like you guys are, are manifest the money. Yeah. Ten of swords, bitch. <laughs> and then that shit ends. Damn. Alright. Um. Damn. I wasn't expecting that. 
Leo, I'm also getting like this haunted energy as well. You know what? I'm starting to feel like this is somebody around you, bro. Like, I feel like I don't I don't feel like this is you. I feel like somebody is trying to manifest their Queen of Pentacles. So you got some earth in your chart. And it's like you're exploring your options. Yeah, I'm getting like you're exploring your options. And it's like killing this person, this ending that you have with them. Or they're just watching you coming into this this new shit. I feel like this is their energy. Let's see. Wait, what is that? I'm not even lying. What's coming towards my Leos? Oh, four of wands in reverse. And the hangman in reverse. Yeah, I feel like somebody that, that either left you or you left them because they were just playing around with you. Now they want commitment and they're coming back in. I just heard I know you fucking lying. Oh, my deck is in reverse. My deck is in reverse. But I also feel like somebody feels like they don't have stability with you. And with this hanging in reverse, it's like they're very, like, asleep. Like, they're not spiritually awake. Um, they don't know what's going on. Again, you could have blocked this person. Yeah, they don't know what the truth is. Yeah, they don't know what the truth is. For some of for some of them, they feel like you're being sneaky because they don't know what you're doing. I'm also getting that like some of these secrets are like coming to the light as well. Or like the the truth about like how someone really is regarding their 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 inner circle, like within their family. Somebody could be like a, a black sheep of their family. Look, Ace of Cups, but they're fucking in love with you. This this is giving me like true love. Literally, true love. But this person doesn't know how to approach you because they don't know what the truth is. They don't they don't know they don't know where you both stand. Okay, Leah, we are gonna finish your reading and extend it. The link to the extended reading is gonna be in the description box down below. If the video ends here for you, thank you for stopping by. Do not forget to like comment and subscribe down below if you will be following me into queen ella's secret room i will be waiting for you at the top